Hey, it's Mrs. Sensor. I am here to um, give a little drumming lesson, bucket drumming lesson to those of you who are distant learners. And if you are someone who has been doing this with us in class, you already know how this goes and you should be ready to do some more. Now, um, before we do anything, important that you know the tools that you need are something to drum on and something to drum with. And you have a couple different options. Um, you can get get a bucket. I'm just using the nice buckets that Lowe's has donated to our classroom. Um, right now it's sitting on top of a crate. So um, it's a little higher for the camera angle and everything. Um, so I'm gonna look like I'm drumming kind of high right now. Um, it's a little higher when we're in class, I'm down here, but you know. Um, uh, you could get a bucket and you could go to spots and get a pair of sticks or you could use two wooden spoons. You can use two pencils, work just fine. You don't have to have a bucket. You could use a Tupperware bowl or um, a plastic container or um, an empty old uh, box or tissue box or a um, you know something that you're going to throw away anyway, cereal box. Um, Ask permission though first before doing any of this activity. Ask permission to drum on whatever you're drumming on and whatever you're drumming with as to um, not destroy something that your parents do not want you to destroy. Because um, hitting something does tend to put little dents in it. Um, you can see little dents on the top of my drum. Um, and and uh, we don't want anyone to get in trouble. So um, you could always use your hands too and play it on any surface. Um, to get some practice. What you need to do first is find three different sounds that your instrument can make. So whether that for mine, I could play on top of the bucket. I could play on the sides. It's a different sound. I could play on the rim of the bucket. And it's a different sound. All right. We are going to start with uh, so whatever those three sounds are. For you, if they're very similar, that's okay. Maybe just find three different positions to play on. Um, maybe get three different boxes to play on. It's however you want to do this. Pause the video, go find the tools that you need, and then you can come back to watching how to do this. We're going to start with the same song that I always start um, bucket drumming with. And before bucket drumming in a normal, normal school year, we would do Drums Alive. We would start with this song also. And um, it's, the song is called Best Friend. And before I start the song, here's the rhythms that we will be using to perform Best Friend. Um, we're gonna do some stick clicks and we're going to use a rhythm that is rest, turn it the right way, rest two, rest four, one, two, three, four. And when we do the stick clicks, it won't stay up. I'm going to hold it here and then I'm going to put it down and it's going to fall over. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So we play one, two, three, four. Rest, two, rest, four. Rest, two, rest, four. You get the idea. So our first rhythm is this. Then I'll come in with our next rhythm. And this rhythm is going to repeat throughout the song. We call this our home pattern. The rhythm's really easy. The rhythm's just... One, two, three, four. Pop, 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 pop. One, two, three, four. And as you can tell by this little sign, this little mmm face, looks like it's going. It's actually a repeat sign. The repeat sign says you repeat that. And we're going to repeat it several times, okay? It's our basic home pattern. The home pattern is going to look like this. Home pattern is going to be, I guess I could put these in the background so that you can see what the rhythms are while we're doing them. Ooh, here we go. So uh, the home pattern is just going to be with your, we'll do your right hand first, with your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 It's up to you if you want to start with your right or your left. Um, you, it doesn't really matter when you're playing. Um, it could be you could continue to play on top. I like to switch it to the side of the of the bucket. 
gives it a little variety. And you go back to the top or you can stay on the side. All right? All right. I hope you enjoyed playing this. The only other pattern that we um, have during this first song is we go together, we cross, over, together, cross. And when I cross, I play on the rim of my bucket. That's this like little lip on the edge. I don't know if you can see it here. It's a little lip on the edge of the bucket. If you don't um, have the lip on the edge of a bucket, um, you can find something else that makes sound, or you can just cross over and play the same thing. Um, okay. Um, so you could do it on the sides. It's the same pattern. It's still one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're just doing something fun with our hands. All right, let's start this song and we'll get to drumming. Like I said, if you need to pause it and go get your tools so you can drum along with me, that's great. I'll still be here when you get back. So I'm just going to pull this up. I apologize if it sounds all garbly and googly. That's just how sound works when we do that stuff on Screencastify. Um, it doesn't like music audio. It's great for talking. Not so great for music audio. If you want to um, even mute this and have your own, um, play it on your own on something, the song's called Best Friend. It's by Sophie Tucker. And it is the clean version. I don't know if there's a non-clean version, but I always tell people only play clean versions of songs. All right, so uh, do your best using my audio. Hopefully it's not too garbly or gooky. Okay, first pattern. you enjoyed that and we'll put some more songs on soon and uh, hopefully if you enjoyed that you will enjoy drumming with some other songs too have a great day 
I hope um, you have a good weekend if you're watching this on a Friday. And um, see you later. <laughs>